Today we're going to be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts RAM tow mirrors on your 5th gen 2019 plus RAM truck. At the time of filming this video, this procedure is specifically for 2019 plus RAM 25 and 3500 trucks, but for exact fitment, please reference our website at BoostAutoParts.com. First remove the mirror trim cover piece with your trim tool. Then take your trim tool, pry on the window switch to pop this out of place. Then unplug the window switch connector. Then remove the screw cover behind the door handle. Then remove the Phillips head screw behind the door handle. Using a trim tool, remove the door handle bezel. You'll pop it out of place and then open the handle to remove. Next, to remove the six door panel screws and clips, as we show here. Some of these door panel screws may not come out right away, so you may have to help it by prying on the side. Then take a pick and pry all six tabs off the door panel. Then remove the door panel by lifting the panel all the way up, making sure it clears the door latch. Remove the connectors from the door module on the mirror harness. Now remove the three mounting nuts for the mirror while supporting the mirror on the other side. And then remove the mirror making sure the harness is completely free. Feed the wires and connector from the Boost Auto Parts mirror into the door making sure no wires get caught between the mirror base and the door itself. Then line up the three bolt holes in the door with the studs on the mirror. While still supporting the mirror, thread each of the three nuts on, then tighten them down. Now if you install signal only mirrors, you can disregard the rest of this video running the running light wire. You'll just reinstall the door panel. I'm just going to come into the door jam here and you'll see there's two Torx bit bolts holding this door harness into place. Take a T20 Torx bit and remove both those bolts. And pull the door boot out slightly. Being careful not to touch any wires, you want to go ahead and cut the tape back slightly and untape this portion. Now as you can see here, there's a plastic piece attached to the metal boot here. Take a trim tool and just remove this plastic piece as shown here. Remove the boot to the cab here. So you're going to go ahead and squeeze these two tabs on the top here. It'll pop right off. Just go ahead and squeeze both tabs. There's one on each side. Then fully remove this connector and harness from the slot in the door. You may have to close the door slightly to get it completely free. Next, remove each individual connector from the housing by pressing in on the latch for each connector. As we show here, the latch will be facing outward on both connectors. Once both connectors are removed from the housing, grab them making sure they don't fall back into the door jam. Then pull the door jam boot out and away from the weather seal. Next you want to take a straightened out coat hanger or a sturdy metal rod and insert it in the middle of the two connectors in the boot. Pull that through slightly on the other side. Take the connector from the extension kit included in the Boost Auto Parts mirrors and plug it into the mirror connector, just like so. Then take that orange wire and feed it through that plastic portion of the door jam boot. Pull that orange wire all the way through. Make sure you leave a little bit of slack inside the door. Then take that orange wire and tape it to the end of the coat hanger that you ran through the boot. Then pull that coat hanger all the way through the door jam boot here. You'll see we pull all the slack out of the orange wire inside the boot, but we do leave a little bit of slack in the orange wire inside the door. Make sure you route the boot and orange wire back behind the weather seal so that everything can be properly installed. This is all one piece here that comes all the way back. You want to remove this so that you can run this wire properly through. You want to start by prying from the back piece here. And just go and run your trim tool along the edge and it'll slowly pop all the way off. Now you just go ahead and run that wire all the way through. 
Next we'll plug the brown and white connectors back into the door jam connector here. If you look inside the door jam connector, they're color coded so the white has a white insert and where the brown connector goes is a brown insert. So you'll just match the colors and plug those in. Then making sure that the orange wire is fully tucked into the cab of the truck so it won't get caught. You'll make sure that the connector housing is lined up with the rectangle opening in the door jam and slide it back into place. Then just take the connector for the door jam, make sure it latches back into place and the boot seals. And then put the plastic piece back on the metal portion of the door jam boot and clip this back into place. Put the screws for the door boot back in here. The procedure for the passenger side is the exact same as the driver's side, so we won't show it here, but you'll just repeat these steps for the passenger side. Here we're working under the passenger side of the dash. We want to remove this carpet piece, so you insert your trim tool in the three rivets and just pry down. It'll pop right off. Take your straightened out coat hanger or sturdy metal rod from earlier. And underneath the center of the dash, you'll run it from the driver's side to the passenger side over this carpet piece here. Now take your passenger side running light wire and tape it to the coat hanger that's hanging over into the passenger side of the dash. Now pull your passenger side running light wire all the way over to the driver's side. Be sure to pull all the slack from the passenger side to the driver's side. Now reinstall that passenger side dash carpet piece. You want to make sure this Running light wire for the passenger side is tucked up and out of the way before installing this. Start by tucking the back side of the trim panel in first, then make sure the HVAC vent holes are lined up with the cutouts in the carpet. Once everything's lined up, you just press on each rivet, pushing it back into place. Now in the under hood, we'll locate the small ground on the firewall and we'll just poke through it. As you can see here, this is where the coat hanger came through, that grommet in the firewall there. Now you can take the passenger and driver's side orange wires and either splice them together or run both wires up to the fuse box like we show here. Next, tape the driver and passenger side orange wires to the coat hanger. Pull that through the firewall. And just go ahead and remove the fuse box cover. You'll remove fuse 79, this is the clearance light fuse. Just take the fuse you removed and place it in the lower slot on the fuse tap here. And strip the orange wire. Crimp this into the fuse tap. And insert this fuse tap into the proper fuse location, which is fuse 79. Now put the footwell trim bezel back on. Now if your original mirrors did not have turn signal and puddle lamp, you'll need to have the sales codes enabled. Please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video for how this can be done or go to your local dealer. The sales codes that will need to be enabled are LEB for the turn signal and LEC for the puddle light. A running light, power fold, power adjust, and defrost will all work without anything needing to be enabled in the body control module. And just like that, your installation is complete. To get all the parts shown in this video, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for trucks and SUVs. Check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.